Hi my friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Casper the Boy Diviner and I'm going to share with you my esoteric book haul. I, I got 5 books here to show you. And the most interesting thing is, out of these books, 4 of them are actually free and you can find them online. I actually got lulu.com to print these free books for me so that I can read them in hard copy because I do find esoteric books are pretty hard to read on an iPad or on a Kindle. It's really hard to make those notes even though I try and so I, I just decided to get them to print it for me. All links to these free books or free material will be down below in the description box. Let me cover the first book which is not a free book. It is The Complete Picatrix and this is by John Michael Greer and Christopher Warnock. These are titans in the magic world, titans in the astrology world, and I'm really happy to finally get this deck, uh, this deck, I talk too much about decks, this book. I'm hoping to read this book in more detail. It is an amazing reference book from what I've heard many many people talk about. So if you have any experience with the Picatrix, please let me know, share with me what are the most pertinent chapters maybe to read through. I am excited to dig into this, and I almost bought the illustrated version, but you know, like, I can't help but want a bargain. So this is a cheaper version. I feel like it has the same content, just less um, figures and less images. So I thought this would be the most um, valuable price to content ratio that you know that made sense. And Lulu.com was having a lot of problems when I ordered this whole set. So just to let you know, they have changed their, their whole interface. They have done a lot of changes. So it was really hard to order and it took weeks for these books to come. So there are some downsides here. But um, overall, the other books, because the material was free, printing it was not as expensive. But because I live in Singapore, the shipping fees were pretty crazy. Yeah, but let me know what you think of this book. I can't wait to dig into it. I know it's about, you know, a lot of astrological kind of uh, magic, which I've been exploring since I've got The Seven Spheres uh, by Rufus Opus. So yeah, this is the first book. This is the only paid book that I have because the material wasn't free. Okay, the next book I wanted to share with you guys is reviewing the Thry... Trithemius Conjuration. So again, because of Seven Spheres, I've gotten to know the Trithemius con uh, Conjuration where you actually draw spirit into a crystal and actually communicate with that spirit. I hope that noise is not affecting my video, but if you hear anything, it's people screaming downstairs. I don't know why they have to do that, but it's a weekend, so I guess children are children. And this is by Polyphanes. He actually dives into the tri Trithemius Conjuration and goes through a lot of details about it. What he thinks, the theories behind it. It is a really, really beautiful piece of work. Um, it, they are in the form of blog posts on his blog, so it's completely free. He does offer a PDF that covers the whole blog post. He basically compiled it, but because it is a few hundred pages, it was difficult to read it on the iPad. Yeah, I just wanted some of the images to be printed in uh, larger, so I did get a whole big book. I don't know, how, I don't know what's the um, actual size of this, but you can see that this is the Picatrix, and this one is much bigger. So you can see that because of that, some of the images here are printed big, and it's really good for reference. I really am excited to dig into this when I'm working through uh, the Red Work course that also that Rufus Opus um, offers. And he offers it under Dig Digital Ambler, who is Polyphane's blog, and that's why I'm doing this this book. This is part of the material that I should be reading uh, once I get to the point. But beautiful work. I'm really excited to, to dive into this and the decisions he's made and the discoveries he has on the Trithemius Conjuration. So just apart from this book that he offers for free, Polyphane's has done so much. Um, I've started to use some of his prayers in my work. Uh, yeah, he has done so much. He is such a valuable resource. I really hope people check him out, digitalambler.com. And then the next three books actually come in a set. They are The Blood of Saints, The Urn, and also the, A Desert of Roses. And these set of books are by Alan Chapman and Duncan Barford. So these books are actually on, for free on archive.com and you can read it without paying any money at all. From my understanding, the authors actually gave up their material to archive.com or archive.org, which is lovely of them because these are actually compiled book, a blog posts again from their blog called Baptist Head Blog. Um, but I can't find this blog anymore. I believe it's been taken down. And that's why all these original material is gone and they're only like archived in these books. But reading these books 
Again, on, on the Kindle, didn't make much sense to me. There was so much material that I wanted to get into. And that's why I just decided to print it, even though I have so much material left. I do have a book stack of shame um, that, you know, Laura from Aquamarine18 has, has termed hers. I still am getting through The Dancing Sorcerer from my previous book haul. I haven't read The, um, the, the Devil's Work. Also, there's another one that I bought. And I, I have the traditional S.L. Mathers um, book about the Abramelin rites, so I do have to read that too. But these really feel more accessible, these books. When I look through them, I feel like the words are pretty fun. Th these books are kind of their journey towards doing their magnum opus, and that's why I'm really interested in it. I think they also mention about the, the Holy Guardian Angel within this book. So I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. I, I have so much to read, and at the same time, I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to read. I have been reading fiction. Uh, it's easier. Maybe it's just the times, you know, with everything going on. It's hard to really sit down and find time to read instead of watching a YouTube video, which is easier, uh, absorbing material through fun stuff. And I find these things fun, honestly, but it's been challenging to really absorb. I've been trying to read a lot about reading and taking notes, so I'm trying to dive into that. If you guys have any tips about remembering what you have read or applying what you have read, please share with me. I'll be more than happy to try to do it with my life. And thank you so much for watching this little book haul. So there were five books just to repeat myself. The Complete Picatrix. Reviewing the Thrythemius um, Conjuration. The Blood of Saints. The Urn. And the Desert of Roses. Again, these covers are custom made. I made them myself. It was super easy. I, on lulu.com, I just downloaded some images, placed it into the cover creator. And it was so beautiful. I'm so happy with this, this set of three that I kind of just randomly picked. The pictures for. Okay, so if you guys uh, enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It's a really short book haul. I'll let you know how these books go through. I've been trying to create uh, book reviews too, but it's really, really tough. I don't know. It's been tough to really consolidate what I think about a book. Okay, uh, anyway, you guys have a great rest of the day. You take care. Bye!